I think we have audio back now. I think the audio is working and that's a real pain in the ass. Yes. Uh, can you hear me, Kathy? I think so, because I can hear it. Because I can hear it. Okay. Uh, folks, I'm going to take a... I'm going to finish this half and then take a little break. I'll fix the name. I just wanted to get the... I'll fix the title and everything and fix that after the game. Uh, Shellen back on second with two down. Brabender facing Unser now. I don't know. You know, just don't ask, right, why it happened. Here's the pitch to Unser. 3-8, and he grounds it to first, and the side is retired. No runs, one hit. The double by Schellenbeck. Surprise double. Left on base after five and a half. It's 5-2. Senators. And... Yeah, I mean, you know, who the hell knows? It could have been the phone call I received, whatever the hell. Uh, we'll be back in three to five, hopefully for the conclusion of this ball game. My name is Jeffrey Guterman. Oh. Um, I am so sorry. I mean, you know, I, I'm, all, I'm on edge anyway about personal issues. And, you know, to lose this, this is one of the only joys in my life, in addition to cannabis, coffee. It's 5-2 Senators. We're in the middle of the sixth. And we'll be back in three to five. Thank you. Mm. Oh, that's tasty. Wow. Very, very tasty. Uh, yeah. Why is he still supporting Peter Obi? Because he is afraid. Oh, Lord. Keep quiet, sir. Keep fooling yourself. Keep watching these people. Yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> so let's let's talk about way forward for this Lagos issue. I'll be back. Three to five minutes. Thank you. That was very very upsetting. Thanks for letting me know, Kathy, and uh, Gigi too.
If we are hitting the street, some people come with their phones. Let's move. Let's move and do something so that it is the youth that, that, that have the power. There is nobody that is 15 years in army that will come out to confront you that is not with God. There is no police officer that is 15, 15 years that will come and confront a youth that is not with God. It's not possible. So we need to know. Yeah. Hello. Okay, we're good. Let's get going here. God knows what that was. Let me refresh some coffee. This uh, I've been drinking a lot of coffee. This will be my last for the morning. Then I'll tank up at 3 p.m. for the afternoon game. Okay, we are in the bottom of the sixth, Schellenbach. Paving the way for another win by the Senators. This is the rubber game. Pagliaroni leads it off. He's one for two. And here is the pitch to Pagliaroni. Three, six. Grounds it to short. Brinkman over to Epstein, one down. And John Donaldson is the batter. Donaldson one for two. There's a strike called on Donaldson. Ah, Shellen back into his windup and the pitch. One eight. He grounds it back to Shellen back for two away. Two outs. If they're hearing us, John Esther, I want to come up. And we need you to come up with those women to join the protest. And here comes Ray Euler. Boy, the crowd got noisy, didn't it? Let's filter that out a little. Here's the pitch to Euler with two outs. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pitch to Euler, 4-7, and that is a base hit by Euler just past 
the diving Zoilo Versalles. Oilers second base hit of the ball game. Oiler on first with one with two outs, and uh, this is going to be a hitter for Gene Brabender. He went six, allowed nine hits. He walked two, struck out five, and allowed five runs. Uh, five runs, and it will be John O'Donohue for Seattle coming in next inning for Gene Brabender. John O'Donoghue. Let's see who's hitting. It's a clutch two out, Euler on first situation. Coming in to hit. And he pinch hit in real world. I saw the box score. Jerry McNertney. It's true, I remember seeing it. McNertney, who is the main catcher, took the day off, but they'll use his bat. Two outs, Euler on first. Shelling back from the stretch. And the pitch to, to McNertney, 2-7. There's a base hit by McNertney. Euler goes to third and holds. A nice hit there by Jerry. And it brings up Tommy Harper who has a chance. Tommy Harper at the plate. First and third, two down. Harper is 0 for 2, walked and scored. And the pitch to Harper. 6-10, struck him out, and the side is retired. Harper goes down on strikes, and that's the first strikeout for Schellenbeck today, and it was a big one. No runs, two hits, and two left on. After six, 5-2 Senators, and the Pilots have a new pitcher, John O'Donohue. A left-hander and leading it off will be Lee May he's a left-hander so we're looking at lefty lefty here May is 0 for 3 big man on deck Epstein in the hall super Jew in the hall ah, here's the pitch from O'Donohue 2-8 Grounds it to second. Donaldson over to Goosen. One out. <laughs> and here comes the big man, one for two with a walk. Donahue throws. Oh, Donahue. Five two. Grounder to second. Donaldson, he's a four. I don't know how many times they'll be able to get away with that. But he throws him out, two away. Two ground balls to Donaldson, two outs. And here comes Mike Epstein. Two outs, nobody on. Epstein 0 for 3, reached on a force and came home on the home run by Bernie Allen. Here's the pitch. 2-6, and that's a base hit by Epstein. His first hit of the game. And here comes Bernie Allen with the two-run home run in the fifth. The pitch to Allen. 2-7, struck him out. And the side is retired, no runs, one hit, and one left on. Seventh inning stretch, and it's 5-2. Here comes Schellenbeck, who's gone all the frickin' way. Uh, he allowed two runs in the third, but he's been very effective since then, although he's gotten into some trouble. Uh, 
And Ron Clark will lead it off two for three today with two singles and scored a run. Here's Sheldon back. And the pitch to Clark. 2-8. Struck him out. That's the second. He's at now two in a row. He had no strikeouts. Now he's gotten two in a row on strikes. And here's Wayne Comer, one out. Bottom of the seventh. Ah, the pitch to Comer. Ah, six, seven. Grounder to second. That's for Bernie Allen. He's the three, six, three. Throws him out. Two away. For Tommy Davis. Big Tommy. Tommy Davis at the plate. Two outs, nobody on. Here's the pitch to Davis. 3-9. And he flies it to left. Big man. Gloves it. It's a 1-2-3 inning. And after seven, it's still 5-2 ball game. John O'Donohue to start his second inning for Seattle. Facing the Senators in the top of the eighth. And leading it off is Eddie Brinkman. Two for three today. A double and scored, a single and scored. Struck out in the fifth. Oh, who done are you? The pitch to Brinkman. 2-5. Grounds it to short, one away. Here's Zoilo Versailles. Two for three, two singles. Knocked in a, uh, a run, I believe. Two runs. Yeah, two runs. And that's 111, flies to left, two outs for Paul Casanova. One for three. And the pitch. 1-7, grounds it to second. 1-2-3 for O'Donoghue. He's been effective in relief thus far. But Seattle needs some runs. They're down by three. Bottom of the eighth. Leading it off will be Greg Goosen. Greg is one for three. Schellenbach. The pitch to Goosen. Four, five. Fly ball right, one out. He's retired six in order now. Jim Paglioni, one for three. Schellenbach winds. And the pitch, four, six. Walked him. Pagliaroni on first with one out, and John Donaldson is the batter. He's one for three. Four ten. Fly ball right. Lee May makes the catch, and Pagliaroni holds two away for Roy Euler. Ray Euler. Two for three today. I mean, Schellenbeck has gotten hit, but they've all been base hits, and he's gotten out of trouble. Here's the pitch to Euler. For two, and that is a base hit for Euler, his third of the game. He's three for three, my lord. Pagliaroni goes to second, and they're going to have another pinch hitter. Lord. First and second, two outs, O'Donohue pitched two innings. He allowed one hit, struck out one, and no runs. And pitching to the Senators in the top of the ninth. Will be John Gelnar, a right-hander. John Gelnar, let's see who's hitting.
Coming in to hit will be Rich Rollins. He's a right-handed hitter. Plenty of lefties to use, but they're going to go with Rollins. Rollins steps in. It's two outs first and second. Seattle has a chance here. Schellenbeck, though. One more hitter walk. He's through. Here's the pitch. 4-7. And that is a ground ball to third. Versailles stops it and throws him out. Nice play by Zoilo Versailles. And the side is retired. And I tell you, Zoilo Versailles has been a welcome addition to this Washington ball club today in his first game. Two for four and some very, very attractive defensive plays. It's the top of the ninth now. And here comes John Gelnar, the third pitcher for Seattle. Leading it off will be Schellenbach, who's gone all the way. He's one for three, had a double. Left on base in the sixth. Here's the pitch to Schellenbach. From Gelnar, a right-hander, 4-7. And he struck him out. Del Unser now, one for four today. Ah, the pitch to Unser. 2-9. Grounds it to second, two away. Maybe Gelnar should have started. And Lee May is the batter. Lee is 0 for 4. Here's the pitch. 6-7. There's a base hit for Lee May, his first base hit of the game. May on first. Here's the big man. Here's the pitch to Howard. 1-9. Grounds it to first. And the side is retired. No runs. One hit, one left. We're headed to the bottom of the ninth. Seattle trails by three. Schellenbach going for the complete game win. Like I said, he's gotten into trouble, but has managed to keep the Senators in this ball game. Two hits and or walks, and he's through. Daryl Knowles, the ace of the bullpen, a left-hander, is warming in case he's needed. Here's Tommy Harper now to lead it off. Yep. Yep. Okay, Schellenbeck is ready. Harper, 0 for 3, walked and scored. The pitch to Harper, <clears throat> 310, and there's a base hit up the middle for, for Tommy Harper. He's a one to 11 being held. Ron Clark the batter now. Ron is two for four. The pitch to Clark, 610. Struck him out. Third strikeout for Schellenbach. Now Wayne Co uh, Comer, one for four. One more hitter walk, and Daryl Knowles will come in to put the fire out. Here's the pitch to Comer. 6-10. Struck him out. That's four for Schellenbach now. He's one out away from the win. There's Ted Williams on the, with, kneeling with his right leg on the dugout steps. Shelling back from the stretch. The pitch to Tommy Davis. 6-2. Fly ball right. Big man. Actually, it's a fly ball left, I'm sorry. And that's, yes, it's big man. <laughs> he makes the catch and the ball game is over. The final score for everybody. 
Washington Senators 5, Seattle Pilots 2. Schellenbach gets the win. He went all the way. Pitched nine innings. He allowed a lot of hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven frickin' hits. But you want to talk about being able to stay in control of a ball game. God. <coughs> Getting out of jams. He had three walks. He struck out four, and he allowed two runs. The loss goes to Brabender. Gelnar pitched one inning, allowed one hit, struck out one. Final line, Washington five runs, 11 hits, no errors. Seattle two runs, 11 hits, and no errors. The star of the game is Jim Schellenbach, no doubt about it as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you can pick who you want. Nice game, Kathy. Sorry about the audio difficulties. Uh, Gigi, Kathy, everybody else, Mr. Perota, and uh, whether you're here or not, uh, and uh, of course, Mr. Terranova, and everybody else in the Stratomatic Baseball Network family, stay strong. Oh, please stay well. And I'll catch you this afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern, U.S. time. For August 1st, 1969, the Senators go to California for a series. Now that they've taken this one two out of three, it will be Dick Bosman for the Senators and Rudy May, a great pitcher for the California Angels. I'll catch you all later.